So it can feel very hard as parents or people that care for children to feel that we're able to keep our children safe. And it can be quite overwhelming in some respects, um, especially when maybe your technical abilities, if they're anything like mine, um, are quite small. And so um, it can leave us feeling overwhelmed. Um, but let's just talk about it a little bit more and take a deep breath. Um, because it can actually be quite simple. It doesn't have to be that technical at all. So what is required? Well, we just need to learn how to listen. We need to talk to our young people. We need to support them. And we need to try and share with them any knowledge that we have and try our best to not be negative. Uh, to be very open minded and to have positive and negative um, thoughts and views and to be um, fairly even with that. So we can have honest and open conversations with our young people. And that is no different to hopefully any other conversation that you would have with them, whether it's about online um, or whether it's about uh, stuff in, you know, person. Um, information that can help them, um, like, say, crossing the road. Um, you know, we have to teach them and help them um, online and in person. So we can help them become equipped um, and to navigate um, by having boundaries in place. You know, we need to know who they're online with. Uh, we certainly need to ask them if they know who they're online with. You know, are they age appropriate and do they know them um, or do they not know them? And they also need to know that if they feel scared or concerned about anything that has happened online, that you are available to talk to about that. And also it's worth asking them if they were to be online and somebody were to ask them the personal information, what would they do in that situation? Would they come and talk to you? Because obviously that is what we would like them to do. And we'd also like them not to pass on any personal information. So, you know, when you have these conversations, you can come across that problem theoretically and ask them what they would do in that situation. And hopefully, as I've said, it's not to pass on any personal information and to come and talk to you. So to summarise, we need to be having conversations about what they can view and what um, is it safe? Is it age appropriate? Um, what are they sharing online and who are they sharing it with? We need to find out who they're chatting to online and what they may be chatting about. And this doesn't have to be a heavy conversation. It can be small conversations that you have um, every day, um, just just conversations. Um, so also friending, you know, who are they accepting friend invites from? And what do they do if they have a friend invite from somebody that they don't know? But maybe that person may claim to be a friend of a friend. You know, for example, um, I've had an invite from somebody who claimed to be a friend of a friend. I did check that out with the friend initially um, who said, no, I don't know them. So therefore, I did not accept the new friend invite. So it's about having these conversations and letting your children know that you're also online and we also have the same issues um, that we need to tackle. And so by telling them about what we have experienced, it will help them learn rather than them make the same mistakes that me, we have maybe made in the past. So it all doesn't have to be a big deal. It just has to be conversations that you have with your children, um, which I'm sure you have about many other areas of life as well. So share your online news with them, uh, maybe what apps you use or what you've added, what social media you use, um, what you share 
um, you know, online, what photographs you share, and maybe you can be a role model to them to help them learn. Um, you know, say, for instance, with sharing photos, it's always, the, the, you know, the best scenario is to get the permission of whoever's in the photo before you share that photo. So with your children, it could be that you ask for their permission for a photo that you'd like to share of them online. And that will help them learn that that's what they should do in the future as well. So when it comes to um, a child having, say, the first phone or an iPad or a game, whatever that may be, maybe have a house meeting um, and set up some rules together. So be positive um, and you may have built up some positive evidence for your child in order that they have um, whatever new device or game that they're going to have. So you can talk about um, in, at that meeting, you know, what what can they use? Um, who owns it? Who paid for it? Um, what apps they're going to be allowed to have? and what their password is you know you're going to have to come to an agreement of you know is that password just for them only or are they going to or are you going to want that password so that you could potentially do like a dip sample on their phone every now and then so these things i think if they're talked about in advance and you are all in agreement um that can really help going forward so other things to talk about are where Where's the phone going to be charged overnight? Is that going to be in the bedroom with your child? Or do you feel that it's maybe better to have that phone in a communal area overnight and away from the child? Um, it may be that, you know, when they use their games and they're online, do you want them to be in their bedroom and you're OK for that door to be open or shut? Or do you feel that you'd rather have them in a communal area of the house so that you're able to see them um, and hear them when they're online. So um, the other thing to consider is cutoff times before bedtime. So um, I struggle with this actually, um, because sometimes I go to bed and I'm using my phone just before I go to sleep. So um, I'm saying to myself, um, maybe an hour before bed, I don't use the phone. So it may be that you consider this for your children as well. An hour or two before bed, um, will they be stopping any use of their phones or their electronic devices? So all of that can be decided by you. OK, hope this helps.